Continuing on our theme of saving time with our sales invoice in Xero, today we're going to look at customer defaults and how they can work for you. Let's head over to Xero and check Okay, it. from the dashboard, we're going to select contacts. And then we could use the search box or here, it's easy enough, we're going to pick up our contact ABC electrical. And we're going to choose edit and what we're trying to do here is to save time with sales invoicing. So we're going to scroll down to the financial details and sales settings. We're going to choose tax exclusive, which just means our sales invoices will be quoted before VAT. And we can also choose a default code. We know that the invoices to this customer are going to be coded to monthly support. That's the sales settings. Then we're going to scroll down further and we're going to come to invoice theme. We know that the invoice layout is going to be standard so we can select that and then for the invoices to this customer we know that they're going to be due for payment 14 days after the invoice date and then we would just simply choose save. And I'm just going to quickly show you how that works. If we go to create a new invoice and we select ABC, let's have a look at what's happened. So already the due date has been created and the branding has been selected. Start typing in details of the invoice. And then when we get to the account code, the default that we've created again has been selected. And that's it. So simple, but just saves us having to input a due date, having to select a branding and also having to select an account code. If that works for your customers, I would suggest that you go ahead, spend some time and set them up. Definitely guaranteed to save you time on your data input. Time means money, so it makes a lot of sense.